Our referee is from Singapore. So we're underway then. First of three three-minute rounds in the 75-kilogram middleweight division and a man boxing out of the southpaw stance wearing blue who has made a very good start is Andrei Viktorovich, representing Belarus. 18 years of age, his opponent, Adam Valenta from the Czech Republic, the reigning national champion of his homeland, having picked up that title in 2020. He's now trying to establish his own lead left hand. Again, look at the feet coming together in that battle for ring territory. Clash of heads at close range made Viktorovich uncomfortable. See him fiddling with his head guard after the box has got to beyond punching range. Nice left jab landed off those feints by Valenta. So fencing with the lead hands. Scoring right cross to the body from the man in red. As the fencing with the lead hand resumes, but then there was an exchange on the inside where Valenta landed a arcing right hand upstairs. Well, the referee allowing the two boxers to walk away. Work away, rather, just in the instruction of no holding. Nice left-right combination landed by Valenta. Viktarovic keeping his shape nicely. Blocks that flicking left jab, but that may be a decoy that's coming out from Valencia. He's demonstrated that on a couple of occasions in this opening round. Just continues to flick, 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 and then will either stiffen it and sharpen it up or come through with a right hand from the rear. Oh, that's a flashing left hand out of the south poor stance from Viktarovic. Valencia comes back with a right cross of his own. Backhand success for both boxers in the preceding 10 seconds. Nice left hand landed, and it forces the head back of Valenta, and it brings about a standing count. Valenta raising his gloves immediately, showing that he's okay, but he was caught flush by a crisp left cross, causing the intervention of the referee to issue a standing count. Good right hand to the body landed by Valenta, because up until then, it was a, well, even competitive round. And again, remember, just because a standing count has been issued won't necessarily mean that it's a dominant round for the boxer who scored or produced the standing count. Because make no mistake, at least from my perspective here ringside, Valenta has been in this every step of the way. Left hook landed on the inside by Viktarovic. And Valenta, aware that he's conceded a standing count, ends the round in strong fashion, scoring with the final shot of the round, a right cross just before the bell. So, a standing count issued against Adam Valenta. But other than that, he was very much in the contest and was scoring effectively. So, how will the five scoring judges see this one? A 5 0 clean sweep in favor of the man from Belarus. He landing some eye catching punches. But even though it's a clean sweep, Valenta demonstrating that he knows how to operate up there in the boxing ring. That is how vital concentration is in this sport. You're playing football, you're a full back and the ball's in the middle of the park. Well, not that you're going to take your mind off the job, particularly when you get to the elite and the professional level. You can afford, be afforded a little bit of respite. 
not really something that boxers are afforded because as long as the opponent is standing, they are dangerous, particularly when they're within punching range. Oh, that's a beautiful right cross on the resumption from Valenta. Conceded the opening round 10-9 and look at the response it has elicited. And you have to credit him and his corner for that. His corner will have said, look, we've got Aiba live scoring here and you've just conceded the opening round 10-9, a round where we perhaps thought you were in it, but you got caught by a shot, you took a standing count, and you're now a point down. Get out there and do something about it. He's doing just that, although he was fed a nice up jab from Viktarovic. Nice right left success by the South Pour in blue. Flicking left jab once again from Valenta. Viktarovic should just get the senses. Going to try and time that with a counter. There he was looking for the left cross. The right jab that right jab that followed was on the money. Valenta trying to distract with that left hand. Viktarovic looking for that big left cross. And the tidy tangle causes both men to go for a walk across the ring in close company of one another. Nice left hand landed by Viktarovic once again. Valenta pushing it, punching his way out of there with the left hand. Nice left hand landed by Viktarovic once more. He's used that southpaw left often as a lead shot, not setting it up with a right jab, but just firing from his backhand and finding the range with it. You see it once again, turned it into a half hook, half uppercut that time. Flicking left jab is an irritant in the face of Viktarovic. Valentin, Val Valenta lands a good right hand. Oh, beautiful left-right combination once again from Viktarovic. It was a half hook, half uppercut with a left hand, let it off. And you see, leading off with the left hand repeatedly, trying for body and head on that occasion. It was a lead right hand landed by Viktarovic, and again, left to the body, right to the head, crisp by catching shots, and look at the bent arm work on the inside, scored by Viktarovic, swiveling the head of the boxer in red, left and right. Patient display this by Andre Viktarovic. Not necessarily the busy of the two boxers, but his punches are eye-catching indeed as he looks for right-hand success to catch the advancing boxer. The referee goes for a trip as he got his feet tangled in between the two. It inconvenienced Viktarovic and sent the referee from Singapore staggering across the ring just as that right hand from Viktarovic did to Val Valenta. What an incident-filled conclusion to that second round because Valenta was tagged by a couple of solid shots that completely disrupted his balance and that is why he's been swept for the second consecutive round. Patient punch picking over the course of the three-minute frame from Viktarovic. And he concluded the second frame with some hard punches indeed, completely disrupting the boxing stance of the man in red. Valenta being picked off as he looked to advance. He landed some solid shots of his own, but there was the bent on work on the inside. Left, right, left. Seconds out. Now there was the tumble from the official. And then just after that, those were the shots that dipped the knees right on the belt. Causing Valenta to become disorganized. Left cross once again, and look at the hand speed and the volume and the variety of punch from Viktarovic. Left, right cross, success landed twice in quick succession by Valenta, but Viktarovic holds his ground and comes back with a shot of his own. Very composed individual up there, particularly when he's put under pressure. Viktarovic doesn't get flustered, keeps his shape nicely, and he's able to catch the advancing Valenta with short arcing punches from both hands. Oh, Valenta entering the territory where he's going to need a stoppage here now. Viktarovic adopting a wide-legged stance here now. 
presenting an open target to try and lure Valenta in where he can strike with his own quick counters that have served him so well in the course of this contest so far. Valenta looking for the right hand to the body. Taravic trying to make it physical and shove his man off, and then he re-enters a fray and scores with a good left hand to the sternum of the man in red. So that a slip to the canvas, canvas by Viktarovic. Just over a minute to go. And again, as Valenta gets into punching range, just look at the shots that he's taken from the accurate punches of Viktarovic. Really is an art to be able to know where your opponent's chin is and still find it, not necessarily with full-blooded shots, but with scoring shots. But then Valenta with a good period of the round of his own during the course of that exchange. But very seldom has he been able to punch without reply, Valenta. As evidence right there, Valenta lands a good shot and takes two back from Viktarovic. There's a nice left hand landed on the inside by Valenta, who is continuing to go in search of the finishing fusillade that will see his hand raised. And he did have success on the inside, but was picked off once again by Viktarovic. Viktarovic ensuring that he's always turning these into exchanges he, as he lands a right hand around the corner. But Viktarovic doing a good job of making sure that when he is put under pressure, that they are exchanges rather than punches without reply. And just look at the volume of punches let go by both boxes at the sound of the 10-second clapper. That's a very entertaining contest indeed. But it is going to be Andrei Viktarovic who will go through to the round of 16 on a unanimous point decision verdict. But you have to credit Valenta who remained competitive right up until the conclusion. He never stops trying to win. Even though he was outboxed over the course of the first two rounds, but he was competitive, make no mistake. Viktarovic will know that he's been in a contest, but he was the better boxer. Ladies and gentlemen, winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the Blue corner, Andrei Viktorovic. And here's confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Andrei Viktorovic of Belarus. Terrific fight back in the final round by Valenta. Taking it for four of the five scoring judges, but not enough to overturn the deficit he faced after two completed rounds.